Welcome to video 70 in series 3. In this video, we're going to set up the golem, actually. This is going to be our enemy. Alright, so under Window, Asset Store, uh, bring it up, bring up the window, and then search for Ice Golem, and then it's this one here, it's the free model. So just go ahead and download it. And when you're done, just import it into your project. All of it. Okay. And I'll also make a uh, new folder. Uh, so here it is. It's quite in, a, in a folder called uh, Player. Uh, so I'll make a new folder. I'll call this uh, Imported. And I'll drop in this Player folder in there. And actually, why don't I? I'll just extract that out of there. So I won't use this. I'll delete that original Player folder. There we go. We've got the Golem there. And click on it. Now we need to just set up a couple of things. So the rig, it shouldn't be uh, type legacy, it's humanoid because we're going to use the Mechanim system. So it's a really good model made from a long time ago before uh, Mechanim was actually uh, introduced. And even now it's, re it's really good. Okay, so that's the rig done. Uh, now I will configure a little bit. Uh, so some of the bones, you can, you click that configure button, go inside. Now what it's done is it tries to automatically assign bones and it's got just about everything right. There's just one thing that I feel like it needs to get changed, which is the, uh, torso. And that is the actual spine. So in the chest, it, it's picking a, uh, you can look here and see that the spine, uh, the chest, uh, component, it should be up here, but that isn't the case. It's down here. So I find that the spine three looks like it's the closest bone to that. So I'll just drop that in. Okay. And that should be that. So apply and I'm done. Okay. And that's the goal I'm done. Now, uh, yeah, it does that. It goes to the somewhat empty scene. Just go back in and go back to the actual model itself. Okay. Click on that. Uh, now the model itself, it'll be too small. Uh, when you bring it in, yeah, there you go. You can see it's tiny, so just delete that and go back and change the scale factor in the model uh, tab to 0 0.03. Okay, hit apply, and it'll now be the correct size. So if I just bring that back in, okay, yep, and that's the size that I want it at. Now I don't want it inside of the player, I want it to start, so let me just move it off a bit to the side. Okay, good. And I'm going to need a new layer. So I'm going to add a new layer and call it enemy. And then assign this to the golem. And I'll need to, oh, and while I'm at it, I will do game object, uh, break prefab instance. Okay. And, oh, well, yeah, while I was here, I'll assign the enemy layer. Yes, change children. And I'll have to remember that when I add other game objects to this, like the hitbox, uh, in the collision field, I need to change the layer to enemy. Okay, so continuing onwards, currently, like the model, it uses uh, legacy shaders, so I do need to change that. So I better go to uh, where it is and go to the materials and just change it to the standard shader. And it'll look a little different. I'll just knock down the smoothness. And for the other one, again, change that to standard shader. Otherwise, you can get some funny messages up here for some unknown reasons. Anyway, so that just gets rid of that, and we're using uh, up-to-date shaders as well on the model. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to set up a ragdoll, and a ragdoll wants a model in the T-pose. Uh, so what I should do for that, and so I don't want to actually uh, set this one up any further, I want to actually delete it. What I should do is to go back to the golem, and go back to the rig, and configure, a, yep, whatever, to save that. And actually just copy the model here. So just control C this. Okay, click done. Go back to the scene. Paste it in. Okay. There we go. So now we have our golem, uh, with the T-pose. So get rid of that one. And this will set up, uh, nice and easily with the ragdoll system. Okay, so ragdolls will be covered in the next video. So now I'll need a nav mesh agent. And I'll just set that up. The radius is like 0.8. So just get in a little bit closer so I can see it as I set up. The height is like 3. And the speed, angular speed needs to be like 360 so it turns really fast. Stopping distance 3 so it doesn't try and walk into the player. Set the obstacle avoidance quality to like low since we'll have many of these uh, in the scene. 
eventually and well it's cheaper for it to be running like that and they're not well they're just like zombie like characters okay uh, so that's the nav mesh agent I'll then go to the navigation tab and uh, just go back to the bake uh, menu change that like 0.8 the radius agent height 3 though there are no arches anyway anywhere for that to matter and uh, the step height just change that to 1 so it can the enemy can climb really high bumps Okay, so that should be it, and hit bake, done. Alright, so that is it. I will make a uh, prefab out of this, so let me just uh, just change that. I'll change that to golem. And I'll just uh, drop that into the prefabs. Okay, good. And uh, so I guess before we go into the next video, it's important just to make a prefab. And because when you make a ragdoll, you can mess up pretty easily. And when you do that, you actually have to delete it and start again. So just bring it in and just keep doing that. That's the next video anyway. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.